7 is already loaded in desktop 7 to save time as you can see. Hmm, I forgot to install XP into a VM so I'm going to use the RoboLinux C drive to VM support package. You can click here to get it. Which was invented by RoboLinux back in April 2014 to instantly install my XP with all its programs and updates in just a few minutes. This makes moving your Windows OS with all your apps and updates to any new machine or OS a piece of cake. Of course it works on Windows 7 as well. To save you time, I've already spent a few minutes creating a highly portable XPC drive image and I've already put it into my downloads folder. It works in over 500 Linux operating systems just like our Stealth VM software does too. And look in the file manager under downloads and there it is. We're ready to actually convert that image. I'm going to use the RoboLinux Stealth VM software which we also invented to instantly convert and load my XPC drive image into a virtual machine. I'm going to be pausing this video to save you time so when it's done I'll be back but here's where you go up here down to Stealth VM and straight over to the 32-bit because mine's 32-bit XP and click there. Okay I'm back and XP is now loaded in desktop 6. Now I'm going to show you around our completely rebuilt streamlined main menu and as I do that I'm going to load apps into virtual desktops. Windows XP and 6, Windows 7 and Desktop 7. In the first desktop I'm going to load Thunderbird. Then Firefox in Desktop 2. That could have been Google Chrome see up here, Internet, Google Chrome, if you prefer that. You will notice that RoboLinux GNOME has most of your favorite apps already installed and ready to go. That saves you time, folks. You can also one-click install or uninstall any app. What you end up with is totally up to you. Let's load Rhythmbox Music Player in Desktop 3 and we'll load VLC and we'll go ahead and load Shotwell because everybody has photos. Now in desktop number four I'm going to show you how fast we made our file manager. So I'm going to load four of them. Unfortunately in the previous GNOME versions there was a pesky time lag. So watch this. Okay was that fast enough for you? No time lag very happy about that. Now I will load LibreOffice Calc and Writer into Desktop 5. There we go, down to Office. This is really easy. Here's Calc. And make that a little smaller actually. Let's make that smaller. And we'll load LibreOffice Writer. There we go. We've got those two loaded now in desktop number five. Let's load Word and Excel in Windows 7. People watch this. Okay. Now you're probably wondering how did we make that so fast? Well, I'm going to tell you how we did that at the end of this video. Let's minimize Thunderbird. Kind of open up the screen. Here's accessories. Well, it's a very long list. Uh, I'm going to read them quickly. Um, just feel free to download our live version if you don't even want to install it and just check all this out. But here we go. Notably, Catfish, which is a really great file search program. Previously, the GNOME search was just no good. All of you know that calculator and it just goes on and on. Disk utility, your file manager, um, your text editor, gedit, or root terminal which is helpful. Edit your menu with the main menu if you like. Screenshot, you got a terminal and then terminator which allows you to have any number of uh, open sessions in one terminal. And time tracker and tomboy notes. Drivers. 
We have over 150 custom Wi-Fi printer and video drivers that are available for you to install in just one click. In the FAQ it shows you how to run a system profiler um, and that tells you exactly what driver you need to install over here. Need a custom built driver? No problem. We make those available to you here too. Just send an email to tech support and then when your custom Wi-Fi or printer um, or your video driver is ready you just simply click on one of these buttons right here and it will install it for you. It's that easy. Games. Feel free to add any more anytime from our software installer or Synaptic. This is just a small collection. Graphics. Of course the GIMP, Inkscape Vector Graphics Editor, LibreOffice Draw, Shotwell Photo Manager, Simple Scan, Document Viewer. Installers. One-click installer apps here. These apps can't be found in the Software Package Manager or under Synaptic, so we created a custom uh, set of installers for you and we add more all the time as people ask for more apps that are not available in the Package Manager. So we have Google Earth 64, because I'm running the 64-bit version right now, but we also of course have the 32-bit installer for your 32-bit version. Same deal with uh, install Firefox. This is the newest Firefox, and we update it when they come out with stable versions. This is 35. Plex Media Server, really unbelievable. Uh, that's worth installing. And Popcorn Time Installer. Watch thousands of free movies and TV shows instantly. No kidding. Please follow the laws in your country. Okay, and then we have the Silverlight Emulator for Netflix. So you can watch Netflix movies on Firefox or Google Chrome. Internet. Here you have Deluge Torrent Client. Believe me, it's the best one. The most current stable Firefox version, Google Chrome, Pigeon, a multi-chat client, fully encrypted, remote desktop viewer, allows you to log into someone else's computer, and that can be helpful. RoboLinux news tips and upgrades. This shows you which version you are running, and if you click here, you can get up to the minute info about all the RoboLinux versions, plus cool tips as well. Here, watch this. It tells you what version you're running. See, 7.8.1. Skype already installed, ready to go. The newest Thunderbird email and calendaring. And that one is almost everyone's favorite. And Office. And this is primarily all LibreOffice. Um, there is Evolution Mail and Calendar. Um, it's not as popular as Thunderbird, though it does import your Microsoft Outlook address book and uh, PSD files, which is pretty neat if you have to do that. And there's a dictionary, of course. Sound and video. Oh, we got Audacity. Brazero Disc Burner. We got your Cheese Webcam Booth. If you got an iPod and you want to manage the music, uh, you got GTK Pod. ISO Master. Make your own ISOs. Kazam Screencaster. I'm using that right now to record this. Movie Player. It's a nice small movie player. Works with all the codecs. And by the way, we do have all the codecs. Pulse Audio Volume Control. Rhythm box music player showed you. Sound juicer, CD extractor. Move all your CD collections into your uh, rhythm box music player. Sound recorder, and of course VLC, the most popular media player. Stealth VM. Here you can install and run Windows 7 or XP in just one click. It creates a Windows VM in seconds. This saves you time, folks, and it does way more than that. It makes Windows 7 or XP totally virus-proof. Check it out, and you'll see it works. If you're running Windows and Linux, you need Stealth VM. We invented this. As I told you before, it runs on all 500 Linux operating systems. So if you like distro hopping or changing Linux versions, um, that's no problem. It's very quick to move your Windows. This technology is simply awesome, especially the Stealth Data Sync. You cannot do that in VirtualBox or VMware. It totally protects your data from ever getting a virus. We also have the one-click VM backup and restore, as you can see here. Um, that totally eliminates fiddling around in VirtualBox, which saves you time again. People, this stuff is awesome. Check it out on our website. Also, 
you should click here on C drive to VM software uh, support package. I've told you about that earlier. That's how I created the, uh, the XP image from a C drive. That's going to save you eight hours of work installing Windows 7 or XP with all the updates and your software, which takes more time. It's perfect for Windows OEM machines with no install disk. What I love about it is when I reinstall a new version of Linux, which I do quite frequently, I just run it and then put the Windows C drive image file, as I showed you earlier, in the downloads folder. It is incompatible with VirtualBox, but the Stealth VM will automatically convert it into a compatible VDI file in just one click. People, this is Windows on the go, a serious time saver. For the technically challenged, this will save you from pulling out your hair and from cursing at your PC or laptop. You heard that right. You can move your copy of Windows anytime you want to to any machine in seconds flat. Thousands of users have downloaded it and love it. We released it in April 2014. System Tools. Near the top we have Auto Upgrade Robo Linux right here. And in just one click when there's a new version you get the new version. That's pretty nice. Add or remove software. Um, that's going to be your software manager. Um, you've got your create root user account. That's nice for people. Um, if you're a geek, you can run the DCONF -conf editor. Uh, Disk usage analyzer, GW package manager. Um, the list is very long, but the, the highlights are we have lucky backup um, both for the super user and uh, um, for the regular user, you'll see that under uh, accessories. Um, the Oracle VM VirtualBox fully installed. And it's not a lot of fun to install, folks, so it's very nice. Um, power statistics, software update. Uh, anytime you want to check it, of course, you will get a notification um, when you first boot up. System monitor. Your system profiler and benchmark, um, that's where you find out what cards you have in your computer, and that'll tell you which driver uh, to install in one click. You net booting, you can put uh, Linux on a USB stick. And down here, and you'll notice I've loaded Docky again so I can show that off, um, my Windows 764 is now available with my Windows XP as a launcher, which I've put over here in a second dock. And you can have four of these. You can have one on the right, one on the left, one on the bottom, one on the top. Of course, you know, it'd be silly to do that. But I like two of them. Preferences. One of the only uh, menu trees here is the system tools. Everything else is just a um, just one deep. So you have your preferences over here, and just some notable things. Um, setting compiz. That's your 3D desktop. You can do amazing things with that. Um, you've got advanced settings in here. Um, change your passwords and keys. Um, you know. Pulse audio preferences. Um, you can even check your uh, software settings. That's your uh, your mirrors and your startup applications. Where, as I told you before, you can set up uh, automatically loading um, your 3D bottom dock. Um, you can also automatically load your 3D desktop with that. And in system settings, here in system settings, um, which you can also act access through your name. See here, system settings. You've got your wallpaper there, um, your brightness and lock, um, and you know all your various settings, uh, printer, uh, setup, and um, you know just you know user accounts, um, setting your mouse, uh, touchpad, your keyboard, Bluetooth, so on. And so administration on. from the system tools. Here you'll see we have uh, a good collection, um, GParted Partition Editor, Network Tools. Here I have my NVIDIA driver settings. Um, I had to install an NVIDIA driver so I could use the OpenGL uh, compositing for 3D Desktop and the 3D taskbar. And printing is in there as well. Startup Manager, that's pretty neat because you can change, you know, whether you boot up uh, in one version or another, you know, I run about 16 operating systems. If you run two, that's pretty handy. And Synaptic. How package. do you log out or shut down? Well, the fastest way is to go up to your name 
and here you'll see you have the option of logging out or shutting down or even switching users or locking your screen or just telling your chat system that you're busy. You also can go to the main menu and go to the bottom and do those same things. And I guess this is the finale. And just to show you how fast Robo Linux GNOME 7.8.1 is, you can switch desktops up here just very quickly. Um, and of course, you have your 3D. Now, this could be a cube if you want it to be, um, up to you. You just move around, go to, if you get, you know, a lot of programs opened up, you know, it's very helpful. Um, it's, uh, this is probably one of the trademarks of our GNOME version. And here is the reason why we made RoboLinux so fast. It was built with raw Debian source code with no bloat. We put every ounce of effort into this version so that Windows VMs or any virtual machine can run as fast as possible. This was an enormous amount of work, folks. Over a thousand man hours. There is something into very interesting. Did you know that if every person donates just one dollar who downloads and uses any of the RoboLinux, GNOME, XFCE, or LXDE 32 or 64 bit operating systems, then the RoboLinux Charity Foundation in Cambodia could put a thousand very poor children in a Christian school to really improve their lives and make a difference in this world. How awesome would that be? We cannot make this happen without your kind support. You can read about our Charity Foundation on our About webpage right here. Please note that we provide audited weekly reports so you can be certain that this is a 100% legitimate charity. And you just click down here to see the reports. And you can see who the donors are, when, when they made their donations, how much they made. and. When we reach $634 in donations, we then post the child's name, their photo, and their parent's cell phone number for verification. Thank you for your time watching this RoboLinux video. I hope you have a great day and may God bless you and your family.